Hello Unreal Engine users and users of the landscaping plugin. Uh, there was a lot going on lately and I want to show you a new feature which is brand new in version 7.3. It's uh, for filling gaps where data is missing. So what's the problem when you have um, data which from a file which have not uh, valid data everywhere. The black area is an area where no data is in or no data value and when you import such a file you will have steep edges and uh, a flat area. I will show you this shortly. We will import it and one important thing when we want to fill the gaps is to disable high detail set scale because we need space up and down because when where the area is missing there may be a hill and per default um, landscaping is using the whole range of the height map available so we disabled this setting and then we import it and we can see this landscape has set steep edges and now this area can be filled it can be filled with data from mapbox or with another dtm file which covers this area so we open we will do it with mapbox data we open the dtm options it, it initializes the mapbox for the same area which is already selected from the import and we scroll down we update the landscape and fill missing <coughs> and the parameter below is for the minimum height tolerance and to get this value right we switch to right view and measure the distance from flat area to the minimum valid area. I have to find the landscape, where is it? Uh, here it is. Okay, and we have this ground. Hold down middle mouse button to measure it from this ground to the valid, minimum valid height data. We get a value here about 22,800 and something and we fill it in here and that's it. We will import it and fill the data with mapbox height data. Of course, there will be some differences. I show you here in the quality of the data. We have this area, which has a resolution of a half meter, half a meter, and this area has a resolution of three, four meters. And where they meet, we have this seam, and we have to do something about this because there will be little gaps in this seems we switch to landscape mode and use the smooth tool and we can paint along the seam to get rid of these gaps It's a straightforward process. So here the attitude differences are from the quality of the data. Of course, if I had better data, I would use that to fill the gap. But with this, we can still have a terrain 
with approximately the same heights. So for demonstration, I think this is good enough. I think you get the idea how this is done. The next thing is, since we are here, we can import a satellite image on top of it. We download it from Mapbox. It will be done automatically for us for this area and we import it as decal so it's projected onto the landscape and we can still paint beneath it. Also the differences in resolution are not so apparent um, when we have the satellite image on top of it. So in these areas we can then paint paint layers. We can orient ourselves with the satellite image projected on it. It's pretty helpful. So this is pretty much all of it. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.